farmers in Ondo State, who are of Ibira extraction in Kogi State, have protested the alleged invasion of their farmland and attack on their members by Fulani Esme. Our correspondents gathered that no fewer than 20 Ibira farmers dealing in food crops are already receiving medical treatment at various hospitals across the state as a result of the attack on them by the Esme. The aggrieved farmers are operating in Elegbeka Agoguru, Obaile, Iju Itaogulu, Ologidu, Malege, and Ugbese, all in Akure, South and North local government area of the state. The farmers pleaded with Governor Roti Miyakere Dolu to intervene in the incessant attacks on them and their crops by the headers. The chairman, Ibera Farmers Association, Alaji Amuju Uvoru said, Fulani elders are attacking us on a regular basis. They will invade our farms with their cows and uproot our crops prematurely, causing unprecedented losses to us. As of today, 20 of, 20 of our members have been hospitalized following an attack by Fulani Esme on our farms, he added. He stated further that our crops are being destroyed and our water contaminated. The Hesme we arm themselves with offensive weapons in the night with their mission of massive destruction on our farm crops and assault on us. They even went to the extent of raping our women. We therefore plead with the governor to rescue us. We are peace lovers and have been operating in Ondo State for several decades without molestation from any causes, he stressed. Also, the state president of Ibira community, Alaji Abdul Salam Dagana, who identified Ondo State as their second home, said he was born and trained with proceeds from his parents' parents' farm in the state. According to him, the Fulani Esme are committing many atrocities against my kinsmen. Akere Dolu should kindly wade into this matter before it goes out of hand. He said, we want peace in Ondo State. We are sojourning here for our daily bread. Ibira people are no cowards, but we don't want to create tension in the state. The governor should intervene immediately as an advocate of peace. The special assistant to the governor on Ibira community matters, Mr. Hassan Haheti, however, pleaded with his kinsmen, urging them to remain calm. He hinted that he had been meeting with his people pleading for peace in spite of the recent developments. He said the Fulani Esme had attacked his people several times in the past, stressing that with the present situation, he would take their case to the appropriate quarters for prompt action. Ahete assured that Akredolu would not tolerate a breach of peace in any part of the state, adding that the governor would take swift action on the matter. When contacted, the police public relations officer, Femi Joseph said the matter had not been officially reported at the police command. He, however, said if such an incident happened, the farmers should let the police know, stressing that offenders would be arrested and prosecuted accordingly. The police spokesman said the command would not tolerate any act capable of disrupting the peace of the state. So guys, uh, we have come again with these uh, Esme atrocities all over the land, everywhere. You know, what baffles me here is that, you know, that is really funny to me. According to the police uh, uh, PPRO, the public relations uh, officer said that if such things should happen, they should let the police know that they have not been uh, officially briefed. They've not been told officially. And from the submission of this uh, Ibira community, they say it has been happening before now. So does it mean that the police never had such things before? And when it happened, which action did the police take? And again, the president of the Ibira uh, community, uh, the their state president, said that they will report the matter to the appropriate quarter. Which appropriate quarter? Is it the same appropriate quota that we've been talking about? Is it the same appropriate quota that we have in Ogun State that said their problem is not 
with uh, the pro, uh, the Fulani who are residing in Ogun State. I'm even talking about Ogun State uh, matter. But their problem is the ones coming from a uh, Niger Republic. So, in that case, at least the appropriate court has knew about what has been happening in Ogun State. But they say their problem is that they can't even that these people are the one giving giving them headache, and they couldn't do anything. So what does that tell one? So coming back to Ibira people in a uh, Ondo state, they are calling on the uh, governor to help them. Of course, that is a the, the the person they are going to call first. But I'm surprised that uh, the one that happened in Ondo state and one other state, the next person they were calling was the president. They were calling the president to come and help them, leaving their uh, governors to do the needful. The question is that. Is this issue of ASME, is it really new to everybody, to all the governors in Lagos? I say in Lagos, in Nigeria. Is this a new incident or they've not heard about this thing before? So, what have they been doing? We understand that uh, that is one of the reasons they created Amotekun, but I don't know when it's going to kickstart in the first place or whether it has kickstart because this issue of ASME and what have you is really turn on our flesh even as a people now the fulani esme or their fulani group coming out to say they are they own the land from sokoto to the atlantic ocean every area you know they gave a uh, a warning sometimes uh, last week that they are going to make it uh, public the areas which their forefathers conquered so they are going to reclaim them back that they should not take them for granted and they mean business. So with this issue of a uh, everyday, you know, taking people's lives, injuring people, are, are we sure that uh, they are human beings? It is human beings that have been involved in all this killing or, or just ordinary uh, hands or animals. I don't understand. I don't understand that this thing has become a routine. It has become a normal way of life. People, the farmers will talk. The farmers will be on the, you know, at the, at the, like, at the receive. They are always at the receiving end, and they will always be talking about peace, 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 peace. What is happening? What is happening? And some people will come and be telling you what they don't even understand. Those who are defending the government, I don't. I've not even seen any individual who is coming out to defend the government. Nobody is even saying anything apart from the spokespersons, the two spokespersons, Gaba Shewa and Femi Adesino, you know, they are the ones. Of course, you should expect such things from them. But what of other people? What of other people even in this government who are not even working directly with the president or the APC people? I don't just understand. Everybody just keeping quiet. Conspiracy of silence. Everybody just keeping quiet, most especially the ones in APC. This is really baffling. All the chieftains in APC, what is their problem? What have they been thinking about? They are just busy fighting themselves. Even Adam, Adam Sushumole, who is the national chairman, has not even been able to make has not been made has not been able to make a categorical statement concerning what is happening. Of course, how do you expect him to be to have time for that? Because the only thing he's looking for he said to fight Obaseki. Obaseki to fight him. The two of them are fighting each other. Even the incident that happened in Edo State as well. Did they do anything? He didn't do anything. The same people calling the uh, pre president to come and sort them out, to come and help them. The old national chairman has, they has not deemed it fit to even make statements concerning this. They don't even believe it because they just believe that people are just making it up. They believe that people are just saying what they want to say. They don't believe in that. Which way, Nigerians? Which way? Why are these governors keeping quiet? Someone said, of course, they are APC. Majority of them are APC people. The question is that the ones that are not APC, that are PDP people, what have they been doing? What drastic action have they taken? That is the question. Because I would just be wondering whether... The people who are, you know, being killed day in, day out, whether they are human beings, I don't understand. If it's, they are human beings and we are in this country, everybody, everybody just like, you know, I feel all right. Of course, you know, if you want to think it the other way around, what will people do? People are helpless. People are helpless. A lot of people are mourning. A lot of people are suffering. 
a lot of people are crying, wailing. Some who are, some of them who are not dead yet, they are mourning their losses, they are counting their losses. You will talk and talk and talk. How do they get help? The president is not saying anything. He does not even believe in that because the last time he went to the U.S., he said, this Fulani S-men, they only carry six. But now he has invited them. That is just the way it is. If a, if police people should be talking in Ogun State, it's in the record, it's in the public domain, that their problem is not the, the Fulanis in the, in, the, in the locality, in one of the communities in Ogun State, but their problem is the people coming from Niger Republic because army chased them. So if police should be talking about that so does this still mean that people are just making all of these things up now they call the police in this a uh, 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 bira community in undo state they say they have not been informed officially they've not been told that they will not tolerate any form of atrocities committed by anybody but the question is that was that the first time they are hearing this kind of a thing or have they not been hearing it before what have they done so guys i would like to hear from you i don't know what else to say again but let's say your opinion concerning this leave your comments below please like comments and share and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much bye